Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jackie and today I am here to do my September library haul. So in the month of September I did not buy any books at all. I went on book mine ban. I had talked about that in the past and I finally did that. Um, so I'm very proud of myself for not being or not buying any books this month because my TBR shelf is ridiculous. So most of the books that were on my TBR that I didn't own already I got from the library and I have a total of seven books to show you guys today so I'm going to jump right in and get started. So the first two books I picked up this month are both audiobooks. The first one is the one I am currently listening to and that is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. I'm sure you guys have been hearing this all around booktube for the past couple of months ever since it came out. It's been getting a lot of hype and this is a YA, it might even, it's kind of borderline YA new adult that uh, historical fiction that follows our main character Monty who is about to go on this grand tour of Europe before he comes home to London and has to take over his father's lordly duties. So he goes on this grand tour of London with his best friend Percy and his sister, or Monty's sister Felicity and they get into all kinds of mischief and he takes off from there. I am, like I said, currently reading this, or listening to this book I should say, and loving it so far. I'm not very far into it, about three and a half hours in, and so far it is hysterical. Um, this has a ton of representation in it. Monty is bisexual, Percy is African American, either bisexual or gay, I haven't really figured it out yet, and he also has epilepsy, so tons of representation in it. Um, like I said, I'm really enjoying it so far. Also, the narrator for uh, this audiobook is the uh, guy who plays young Tom Riddle in Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets, which is so cool. That's the main reason why I picked up the audiobook, because I wanted to hear what it was like, because everybody says it's fantastic, and they weren't long, so really enjoying this so far. In the other audiobook I picked up this month, I'm a little bit wary going into it. And that's for a couple reasons, which I'll explain in a second. So the other one I picked up is Wonder Woman uh, Warbringer by Lee Bardugo. Now, I saw the Wonder Woman movie back when it came out in May, and I honestly was not a fan of it. I personally did not like it. I did like some parts of it, but that's a whole other story. I could do a whole movie review on that. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, but I also have never read a book library by Lee Bardugo. She is the author of the Grisha Trilogy as well as the Six of Crows duology and those books are very hyped up here on booktube and I've been meaning to check those out for a while so I am thinking I'm going to start with this, see if I like it or not and then move on to maybe Six of Crows or the Grisha Trilogy after so hopefully I will enjoy this because like I said I'm really wary going in because of the movie but I, from what I've heard so far this has been getting nothing but good reviews so really excited to check this out. The next one I have here is a book that is one of my most anticipated releases of this year and that is War Cross by Marie Lu. This is Marie Lu's newest novel. She is the author of the Legend Trilogy and the Young Elites Trilogy, which I have read the Legend Trilogy. I have not read the Young Elites. I have a full review of the Legend Trilogy on my channel. I will have it linked down below if you guys would like to hear my thoughts. But I love her writing. Uh, it was absolutely fantastic in the Legend Trilogy. So. This is her, I believe this is a fantasy novel, could be considered science fiction, and this follows our main character Amika who is a bounty hunter and she is working to track down elite uh, people who are illegally gambling on this game called Warcross which is like the big craze in the future um, and somehow she makes a deal with the creator of Warcross and she kind of gets sucked into the grand championship of that game. So. Like I said, this is another book I've heard nothing but fantastic reviews about and I'm really, really excited to dive in because everybody says it's amazing, so can't wait to pick it up. This is probably going to be my next read. The next one is actually the only Shadowhunters book I picked up this month. I originally had the audiobook for this book and the next few books in the Shadowhunters world, but I had to return them to the library, so I picked up the physical copy of this book, and that is The Bane Chronicles by Cassandra Clare, Cassandra Clare, Sarah Reese Brennan, and Maureen Johnson. This is a series of novellas that follows Magnus Spain, who is a warlock in the Shadowhunters world. He is personally my favorite character in the Shadowhunters world, so I got about, I've read one full chapter of this on audiobook, and then I started the second one, but I had to return to the libraries, and I was really enjoying it so far. He is full of humor, and I love him. So I'm excited to finish the rest of this book and hopefully if I like it enough I will continue on with the rest of the Shadowhunters books. The next two books are both part 
or actually the last three books, excuse me, are all by the same author. And this is an author I've been trying to read one book per month by him. So the first two are the last two books in a trilogy I started back in July, or yeah, July or August, I can't remember. And those are The Throne of Fire and The Sh Serpent's Shadow. And these are both by Rick Riordan. These are the last two books in the Kane Chronicles trilogy. I read The Red Pyramid last month, I believe, and I enjoyed it for the most part. I give it a four out of five stars. So this is book two, which I am currently reading in book three. Um, my cousin who has read pretty much every single book by Rick Riordan says this series is just as good as his Percy Jackson and Heroes of Olympus series and so far I can't agree with her so really excited to finish this series up. And the last book I have for this haul also by Rick Riordan is Magnus Chase and the Gods of Asgard. Book one, The Sword of Summer, once again by Rick Riordan. This one, the King of Chronicles, I forgot to mention this, follows a Egyptian mythology and this one follows Norse mythology which is really cool because I love the horror movies so I'm expecting to know some things going into this book. This follows Magnus Chase, who I believe is the cousin of Annabeth Chase in uh, the Percy Jackson series, which is one of my favorite characters in the uh, Percy Jackson world. And this one, I believe, takes place in Boston, which is my hometown. So really, really, really cool. This is another one that my cousin and everybody who has read it says is amazing. So really excited to read this hopefully next couple of weeks because I know the third book in the series comes out in just a few weeks so hopefully I'll get finished up the first two books before I can read the third one. And that is all I'm gonna have for this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. I'll be sure to have any videos mentioned in this video linked down below if you guys would like to check those out. I will also have all my social media linked down below. My Twitter, Instagram, Goodreads, and my blog are all linked down below as always. And with all that being said, I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and I will see you soon for another video. Thanks for watching everybody. Bye!